Good morning friends. Welcome to my channel Coding Environment. In today's video, we are going to solve a problem on stocks. So this is a very famous problem given in lead code or hacker rank. And what the problem states is that we have been given one array. And we can assume the array is 7, 1, uh, 5, 3, 6 and 4. Okay, so this is the array given to us and what the problem states is that we have to buy and sell the shares to get the maximum profit. So the first condition is that we have to get the maximum profit. The second condition it states that we have to first buy the share. So we have to first buy and then sell. So this is the first thing we have to do and this is the second thing. We cannot sell a share before buying it, right? So first thing is buy and then sec uh, second is we have to sell the share. And the third is like we can buy only once. So buy only once and sell also only once. So we cannot do this operation multiple time. And this is the three conditions we have to satisfy and we have to get this maximum profit. So how we can solve this problem? So what it states that we have been given one array and the value at all these indexes like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, all these indexes, it is saying that the stock price at the 0th day is 7 rupees. Similarly, the stock price at 1th day is 1 rupees and so on. So what is the like thing which we have to do? If you're if you're starting from that index zero or the day zero, you cannot sell this share, right? You don't you still have not bought the share. So first we have to do is like we have to buy the share and then we can sell it. So here if you see you can buy it on the same day, and if you want, you can sell it on the same day. So in this case, what what the maximum what the profit you're going to get? You're going to get the profit of zero only. So there is no point on buying the share on the the same day and sell it on the same day also so what we have to do is like now move to the next next day and see if you are on the first day what you could have done is i like you could have bought the share on the zeroth day and sell it on the first day so in this case what will happen like if you are buying the share on zeroth day so you will buy at the seven rupees and if you are selling at the first day you are selling with the uh, stock price as a one. So what the profit you are going to get? You are going to get a profit of minus X. Basically, you are going to get a loss, right? So this you don't want. Now you have to move to the next iteration and see like on fifth, if you are on the second day, what you can do is you can buy the share on the zeroth day or you can buy the share on one day and then you can sell it on the second day. So if you are if you're taking this uh, like when when second day or you can see it as a second day iteration so here you can buy at rupees 7 also and you can buy in rupees 1 also so if you have bought it at rupees 7 and sell it at rupees 5 you are going to get a loss of 2 rupees but if you have bought at rupees 1 and if you are selling it at rupees 5 you're going to get a profit of rupees 4 right so what we have to do like we have to always keep a track of like what is the minimum value before that particular day? So if I'm at the second day, I have to see what is the minimum value of the share before the second day. Similarly, if you're, if you're at the third, third uh, day, you have to keep a track of what is the minimum value of the share before the third day. So if you're seeing it, this is the minimum value. So from three minus one, you can get the maximum on third day as a like, 3 minus 1, right? So you'll get a profit of 2. Similarly, if you're at the 6th or the 4th day, what you can see is like you can buy the share at, uh, at day 1, which is like the minimum value of the share before this, and then sell it at this day. So 6 minus 5, you're going to get, 6 minus 1, you're going to get the profit at this 5. And similarly, you have to see like on 4th, you could have bought on any one of the day, right? But you'll buy at the minimum day. So this is the minimum day and from 4 if you are taking a minus of 1, you are going to get a 3. So if you see, 
if you buy the share at first day which the value of 1 rupees and sell it on the fourth day with the share value at rupees 6 you are going to get a profit of 5 rupees right so this is the two things we have to do is like maintain a minimum value of the share and maintain the maximum profit you can obtain on any given day so you have to keep like uh, like suppose if you are buying on 0th day and sell it, selling it on one day you will get what is the profit and similarly keep on maintaining the maximum profit so if you do this this problem will get solved now let's see how we can solve, uh, solve this problem on IntelliJ so for the sake of the time I have already written the code and I'm going to explain this code like what I have done so sim, uh, if you see this code or explanation so if you see this code what I have done here is see in this like this is the array right so here what I have done is like I have created a min variable which is going to maintain the value of share which is minimum all through through all those days so suppose if if I'm here if I'm the day one the minimum value in this will be like rupees uh, seven but if I'm on here it will maintain this one so keep on like moving and see what is the minimum value of the share before that day so if you're at here if you're at here what is the minimum value before this day if you are at here what is the minimum value of the share before this sixth day similarly if you are here what is the minimum value of the share before this day and this max profit will maintain the profit of like what is the max profit you, you can gain by selling the share on that particular day so here if you see what I have done is like I have kept this min price as like this is the if you are at this point the minimum price of that share will be rupees 7 so at first it will keep the 7 and next max profit is like 0 so here I'm just iterating with that uh, that loop and what I'm trying to do is like I'm trying to find what is the maximum profit or what is the profit I can get by selling that share on that particular day so here if you see price I minus min so if, if I'm at this position I'm going to sell the share and what I have done is like min right this min will contain the minimum value of that particular share before that day so at this point if like suppose if you're at 7 1 5 3 6 and 4 and if you're at this point this min will be equal to 7 now the moment you move here 5 see here this min will get updated so this min value will be if you are at position 5 this min value will be updated to 1 similarly uh, this max profit also so the, at the starting this max profit will be 0 right now suppose if you are at here right so what will happen this max profit will be at 0 only because if you are buying the share at rupees 7 and selling it at rupees 1 what you are going to get is minus 6 so in this particular line if you do minus 6 comma 0 and trying to find what is the maximum value it will return as 0 but when you are here what what will happen this min will replace with 7 so now your min is equal to 1 and your profit that profit will be equal to 5 minus 7 one time and then 5 minus 1 the next time and this will be the value of 4 now here if you see this will this max profit will become as 4 and this mean value will become as 1 when you are at 5th now again if you are at 3 this max profit will always be 4 not always be till 3 when you are moving till 6 it will happen as like your max profit will become 5 and when you compare 5 comma 4 this is going to return you as a like max profit as 5 so let me run this code in the debug mode and then we can understand how this code is working so just just like this and uh, yeah, let me run this code into the debug mode
so if you see here at the first this mean value is 7 right if and and this max profit is 0 now when we are going and iterating this for loop and just see this this for loop is starting with 1 so we are here now so what we are going to do is what we are trying to say is like we have bought the share at rupees 7 and then we are going to sell the share at rupees 1 so in this case what will happen like see this profit is nothing but uh, minus 6 right now when you compare minus 6 with 0 the max profit will remain 0 right now you can see here and this min now here you can see this min value is now updated to 1 now what it did what it did is just it compares 7 and 1 and said that 1 is the minimum value now if you see this we are at the position uh, uh, 5 right now you can see here like if you, if you do this this profit like profit is 5 uh, price at this point right is 5 and this minus 1 this is the minimum value so minus 1 it is going to return you as a profit 4 now when you compare this max profit which was 0 with 4 it will return you as a 4 so here you can see before this max profit is 0 it will update it with 4 right and this mean value when you're comparing this mean value with like 5 uh, 5 and 1 it will be again your 1 only so here you can see here it this mean value still remain 1 max profit now updated to 4 now you again you will move to uh, different indexes and see here so here if you see this profit is still now now saying it as a 2 so what what it is trying to say is like when you are uh, comparing this mean value is 3 and i is 3 right so if i is 3 or at 0 1 2 3 so 3 minus 1 it will do right so it is saying 3 minus 1 you will get get as a like uh, 2 right so but 2 is not more than 4 so this max profit will still remain as a 4 so again it is going i uh, i value is going to now 3 to 4 and you are here so 6 minus 1 now this will you can see here this max profit updated to 5 and so on so this is the way it is it is keeping a track of your max profit and minimum price of the share before that particular day this is the two key things in this code we have to maintain and that's why it is called uh, dynamic programming because you have to keep them uh, basically you have to memorize what is the maximum profit and the minimum price of the share before that day so this is all about this code i hope you understand this this explanation if you have any doubt please write it in comment section and if you have understand it uh, please give us a thumbs up or like and share this video to, uh, to your friends till then have a great day and goodbye